You always hear people talking about eating carbs for the race, going to pasta parties to carb up. But what exactly does that mean? Uh, how much carbs do you need and uh, how do you get them? Let's talk about carbs. Carbs are a source of energy for the body and as runners we need a lot of energy, especially if you're running a half marathon or a full marathon. Uh, when you eat carbs, most of it is stored as glycogen in your muscles and your liver. Glycogen is your body's go-to form of energy, but not the only one. During a marathon, you will burn glycogen and fat. Glycogen, however, is more efficient and easier for your body to burn than fat. So your body has to work harder to burn fat. So when you run out of glycogen during your run and your body starts to burn fat, you will notice that you'll have a harder time running and you will slow down. In order to avoid this, you need to have enough glycogen in your body and refuel during your run. When you're running a 5K or a 10K, this is not an issue. Your body will have enough glycogen to get you to the finish. But uh, from 90 minutes on, you're gonna need to make sure that you have enough energy and refuel. So how do you load up on carbs? Now, a pasta party is fine and all, but you can really fill your muscles with glycogen with just one meal. Uh, rather than that, you should start two or three days before your race. Since you're not running those days uh, to save your strength, the glycogen will accumulate in your muscles and you'll be carb loading, as they say. Now, when you're carb loading, 85 to 95% of your calories should come from carbs, uh, or four grams of carbs for every pound of body weight. That's 8.8 .8 grams per kilo of body weight. So, for example, when you weigh 70 kilos, you will need to consume 616 grams of carbs. With every gram of stored carbohydrate, uh, you also store three grams of water. So that means you will be fueled and hydrated. Carb loading is also something that you might want to train five or six weeks before your race when you're already running a long distance for your training. Try and carb load. This way you can find out what food works for you. Uh, carb loading is only useful when you actually have a long run and will be out running 90 minutes or more. There are two kinds of carbs, the simple or high glycemic index carbohydrates and the complex carbohydrates. Now the simple carbs are made of just one or two sugar molecules and are easy to digest. The energy is also short lived and you will need more food intake soon after. Uh, examples of simple carbs are bananas, white toast, dried fruit, great food before and during a race. Now complex carbohydrates are slow releasing and is what you need to carb load. Sources for complex carbs are uh, whole fruit and vegetables, uh, dairy, whole grains, rice, uh, quinoa or quinoa, however you want to say it, uh, and sweet potatoes. Of course, during your race, you still want to make sure that you get some extra energy by drinking power drinks and eating sports gels or some dried fruit. Uh, when you're running a longer run, you want to start refueling at 60 minutes and every 30 minutes after that. If you carb loaded properly and refuel during the race, you will cross that finish line still feeling great. In the last video, I talked about protein intake, so now you know what to eat while you train and what to eat before your race. Now let me know what you like to eat before a race and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now until next time, get out there and run.